Welcome back, sports fans. Here we go with another exciting edition, NFL Week 12 Action, Vegas Top Dogs YouTube channel update. We have some uh, side selections for Sunday, plus a few player props. We got our guest, uh, our expert guest handicapper, Jeff Hawkman. He's ready to rock and roll. Jeff, welcome back. Thanks, Tony. Great to be here once again. Uh, had a winning NFL Sunday, 2-0, Broncos and Chargers on Sunday Night Football. What a great game that was. I thought they were going to blow it after, you know, <laughs> being up by what, 24, 24-7. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, thankfully they came back. Yeah, yesterday, uh, Chargers of the past without Harbaugh probably would have blown that game. But, yeah, it was really good. Uh, so, yeah, I went 2-0 and in the NFL. And uh, free picks on this video. I went 0-1 with the Kansas City Chiefs. We like to be as transparent as possible. Our player prop was no action since George Kittle did not play. And I did cash my bonus pick for everybody with Tyson Paul in boxing. That was easy. Tony, did you know that, that was they did, did you know in the contract for the fight, they put in a stipulation no uppercuts were allowed. Did you know that? That's crazy. That's like saying you can't do a forward pass in a football game. <laughs> I mean, if I would have known that, wow, I would have really hammered Paul in that one. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. We got the win. Yeah, they kept that a secret. I, I didn't hear that at all until it just came out. So, yeah, that's crazy. Hey, everyone's uh, tuning in for our picks. Jeff, get them started with a winner. Tennessee at the Houston Texans this Sunday. It goes in early action. Houston's coming off a short week after beating up on Dallas. Everybody does last Monday night. Road dogs of seven and a half or more in division games cash 60%. And that's over a huge sample size. That's 10 years worth of data. Texans offense hasn't been clicking like last year. You know, they have a tape on CJ now for, you know, Big, big sample size. Houston's 20th in EPA per play, 30th in success rate. Also, Tennessee is one of the unluckiest teams. If you look at the NFL luck rankings, I think they come in at 28th. Phantom penalties, untimely turnover, special teams mistakes have altered their record more than their actual on-field performance. Tennessee, surprisingly, they're third in net yards per play defense. Second in yards per game defense, third in red zone defense, and third in third down defense. My model has Houston minus 6.7 with a total of 40 and a half points. I think points will be at a premium. So I have to play Tennessee plus eight points. And one other thing underdogs of seven and a half or more when the total is 42 or less are cashing 59%. That's over a 20-year span. So Jeez. give me Tennessee plus eight, Tony. All right, Titans plus eight. Uh, last week on this video, I gave you the uh, Minnesota Vikings over those Titans. They got the job done. This week, coming right back again with Minnesota Vikings minus three and a half. Surprisingly, they're uh, off to a great start this season, eight and two. Their only losses to the Lions and the L.A. Rams on the road. So the Vikings are playing well. Um, this is uh, the Minnesota Vikings' third straight road game. That's rare to see a NFL team play three straight road games, but this is their third road game in a row. But I just like the way the team's playing both offensively and defensively. And uh, like you said, some teams are snake bitten. I think the Bears have been snake bitten ever since that Hail Mary loss against Washington. They're just struggling on offense, struggling on defense. They were a little, you know, a little better, a little more competitive last week, but they're struggling with turnovers, struggling with penalties. The Bears just, just can't get it together. And uh, I, I think the Vikings, minus the short number, three and a half, get the job done on the road over the Bears. Vikings defense is holding opponents to just 17 points per game. They're very good on third down. I like them to get this win by six or more points. Give me the Minnesota Vikings minus three and a half. 
Yeah, I agree, Tony. My model has it at six and a half for Minnesota. So that's a three point difference from my betting model to the spread. Normally those cash at a very high rate. All right. Two side plays. Uh, let's give our viewers oh, before we give them a couple of player props. Guys, make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up. I tell you each and every week. You'll be notified each and every time a new video is out. Uh, the viewers keep going up. Subscribers going up. So join one of the best online free videos each and every week here, Vegas Top Dogs YouTube channel. And be sure to visit VegasTopDogs.com for your sports betting needs. Jeff, how about a player prop? Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the New York Giants. I have a defensive prop for everybody. Brian Burns, over half a sack. It should be right around plus 120, maybe plus 130. It varies. Uh, it, he's been anywhere from plus 120 to plus 140 uh, this season. Brian Burns for the New York Giants. Uh, left tackle Tristan Wirfs. He's limited in practice all week. Even if he does play, he's not going to be 100%. His backup, Justin School, he graded out as one of the worst left tackles when he plays. And then the right tackle, Luke Godecki, he's not elite, and he struggles against speed rushers, which what Brian Burns brings to the table. Tampa Bay, they're a pass-heavy offense. They rank ninth in pass play percentage. 59.2% of their plays are passing plays. That That's you know more opportunities for Burns to get at least one sack in this game. Make sure plus money. The defensive props always come out on Friday. We're recording this video on Thursday. Brian Burns, over half a sack, anywhere from plus 120 to plus 140. I like it. I like it. And uh, before we get to my uh, final selection, my player prop, just want to remind all viewers, due to the Thanksgiving holiday next Thursday, our video will be coming out a day early on Wednesday. So look for that Wednesday, and uh, you, you know you could watch it right before your Thanksgiving dinner. So... Uh, well, I guess our pickings will be slim, right? Yeah. Because there's three games on Thanksgiving. We won't have a pick in those. Um, we'll have picks on uh, either Saturday or Sunday games. I think there's a couple NFL Saturday games next week as well. Yeah, hopefully my model will, uh, you know, produce some uh, player props on Wednesday. Normally, you know, it works better on Thursday mornings, but uh, we'll hook everybody up with more wins. Yeah, definitely. All right, one more player prop for everyone out there. Going against my Cowboys in this one with uh, Washington Commanders quarterback Jaden Daniels over 39 and a half rushing yards. Um, Washington has a 53% um, rate of uh, rushing the ball over passing. They're one of the top teams in rushing the football. Jaden Daniels likes to run the ball. Cowboys defense has been struggling. Opposing quarterbacks tend to do very well rushing the ball against the Cowboys defense this season. And I predict 50 or more rushing yards for Jaden Daniels here on Sunday. Look for him to go over the 39 and a half rushing yards rather easily as uh, Washington Redskins and Dan Quinn going against his old team. Uh, the commanders now, not the Redskins. Yeah, I'm so used to the Redskins. Yeah, you stole, you know my, th you stole my thunder a little bit. I was going to mention that the Cowboys do struggle against – uh, you know, mobile quarterbacks. Uh, Lamar yeah. Jackson, he had a huge game against Dallas. Uh, so, yeah, a little quick story for you. I went to a casual restaurant. I was wearing this Baltimore Ravens hat, and the hostess said to me, are you from Baltimore? And I said, no, I just like the logo. And she said, I said, well, oh, you're probably from Maryland, right? She goes, yeah, uh, go skins, right? So I had my meal, dessert. When I was walking out, I saw her again, and I said, you do realize that the Ravens changed their name uh, – excuse me, the Commanders went from the Redskins to the Commanders years ago. She said, oh, yeah, I know. They'll always be the Redskins to me. So to your point, a lot of people still refer to them as the Redskins. Like yeah. the Cle Cleveland Indians in baseball, yep. a couple of others, but I digress. I know. It's so hard to uh... – to call them the commanders doesn't even sound right. So no, it doesn't. Like, yeah, I mean, what is a commander? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, guys. Like, subscribe, thumbs up. Check out Vegas Top Dogs.com. Jeff, 
Thanks for sharing your knowledge again this week. And uh, we'll talk to you before the holiday next week. Thanks, Tony. Go get, I have two selections in the NFL. Like I said, 2-0 last week. Going to go 2-0 again this week. And I do have one college selection as well. I am 11-5 and in college football mm. this season. 500 in the NFL, but I have hit my top play. So I am showing a profit. VegasTopDogs.com. Go get it. Check out the article section. We have many free articles that will produce some winners for everybody. Horse racing, all sports. Go get it. VegasTopDogs.com. I appreciate you, Tony. As always, have me on your show. Good Mm -hmm. luck to you. And good luck to everybody out there. Let's go get that cash. As always, good luck with your action and be a winner.